As much as you may love animals, there are so many different species, it's impossible to know about all of them. Not to mention some of them are almost impossible to find on your own in nature. Let the hub do the work of discovering for you. Today we'll show you the 10 most exotic creatures you didn't know existed. We're sure you already know this exists, so go ahead and click on the subscribe button. It'll keep you up to date with the latest and greatest videos from the hub. Spider-Tailed Viper Spiders and snakes are two creatures that terrify so many of us, so why not combine the two of them into one giant nightmare? Imagine taking a walk, minding your own business, and then seeing a huge, scary spider. Maybe you try to calm yourself by reminding yourself that most spiders are harmless, when you realize that what you thought was an awful arachnid was just the tail of a viper. A viper that actually is venomous and dangerous to humans. That's one nature walk you would never forget. The spider-tailed viper is a relatively new discovery, found just over a decade ago in its native western Iran. As if its face wasn't terrifying enough, its tail looks like a spider. It uses its tail to lure in birds which the viper then feeds on. This creature is the thing of nightmares, so we can't say we're too sad that the odds of meeting one is pretty low. Harpy Eagle There are many types of eagles, from the iconic symbol of America, the bald eagle, to the gorgeous golden eagle. But one eagle you may not have heard of is the harpy eagle. The harpy eagle's namesake, the harpies of mythology, were unpleasant creatures with the body of eagles, heads of women, and an unpleasant vocabulary that would make you blush. Fortunately, the harpy eagle is considerably more pleasant, although they are quite vocal, especially when they're chicks. The harpy eagle is the largest and most powerful raptor in the Americas, and they can be found in Mexico, Central America, and South America. Their claws are five inches long, even longer than the claws of a grizzly bear, and their wingspan can reach six and a half feet. They may look beautiful with their distinctive feather headdresses, but they're deadly when it comes to hunting. Female harpy eagles, which are twice as large as the males, have been known to feed on sloths and monkeys. Eye Eye The eye eye is one of those animals that it may take you a while to figure out if they're ugly or cute. We'll save you some time. They're adorable. With their bushy tails that are larger than they are, huge eyes, and large sensitive ears, it's remarkable that they aren't more well-known. Perhaps this is due to the fact that they spend their lives in the rainforest and avoid coming out of their trees whenever possible. You might think they look like a raccoon or a possum, but they're actually primates. These little druid-like animals have an undeservedly bad reputation in their home of Madagascar. Someone started a rumor that eye eyes are bad luck, and many people will kill them on sight. While they do have kind of a creepy salad fingers thing going on with their hands, they use their spindly fingers to pluck insects out of trees and scoop fruit from its shell. Golden Silk Orb Weaver The Golden Silk Orb Weaver may sound like a Dungeons & Dragons class, and seeing it in person doesn't make it look like anything less like something from a fantasy world. They are also known as giant wood spiders or banana spiders, both of which sound nowhere near as mystical. They vary in color and can be red, green, yellow, or white. Their striped legs are designed specifically for weaving, and their coloring works as camouflage against predators. They grow rather large, with the females getting up to two inches long, not including their legs. With a name like Golden Orb Weaver, it's no surprise these spiders are masterful at crafting. Their webs are a beautiful golden color that shine in the sunlight. It's thought that the coloration helps attract bees in sunny areas and helps camouflage the web in shady areas. While these webs hurt small animals, they may be able to help humans. Scientists are working on using these webs for medical purposes, including helping nerves regrow. Pink Fairy Armadillo If you're not wearing your glasses, the pink fairy armadillo looks like a sushi roll you could pick up with a pair of chopsticks. They're the smallest of all armadillos, reaching a maximum length of 6 inches long. Its scales are pink and its underbelly is white and fluffy. Even its large claws don't seem intimidating because the rest of it is so impossibly cute. It uses its claws to dig up bugs and roots to munch on. They're excellent diggers and this helps them get around in the sandy areas of Argentina where they live. If you're hoping to catch a glimpse of one in the wild, don't forget to pack a flashlight. These creatures are nocturnal and sleep in underground burrows during the day. They tend to live solitary lives, and the females give birth to one adorable little armadillo baby at a time. Maned Wolf Looking at the maned wolf, you might assume that they must be related to the fox, or at very least a wolf, based on their names. However, they're related to neither. They belong to their own genus of which they are the only members. That's pretty exclusive. The maned wolf is about 3 feet tall and weighs approximately 50 pounds. They're omnivores and their diet is well balanced with about half being meat and the other half being fruits and veggies. Their long legs help them move in the tall grass and leap out at prey. You can find them throughout Central and Eastern South America, although you'll find them to be less than ideal neighbors. 
they tend to mark their territory with powerful smelling urine and feces. To be fair, humans are also less than ideal neighbors for the maned wolf, as us encroaching on their habitat is threatening their survival. Flapjack Octopus If you're a fan of animated films, you may have likely seen this next creature without realizing it. In Pixar's hit film Finding Nemo, Nemo the clownfish has an eight-legged friend named Pearl, who is not just any octopus, but a flapjack octopus. Pixar sure picked an obscure sea creature. The flapjack octopus is rarely seen as it lives on the bottom of the ocean. It closely resembles the equally adorable Dumbo octopus. The flapjack octopus ranges in color from pink to red and has distinctive wing-like fins on its head. Even scientists agree this little sea creature is as cute as can be, giving it the scientific name Opisotuthis adorabilis. Attempts have been made to breed and study these creatures in captivity, but they are not only difficult to acquire, but they're fragile as well. Scientists hope to learn more about them in the future. Patagonia Mara It may look like a cross between a rabbit and a deer, but the Patagonian Mara is actually a rodent. They're found in the plains and scrublands of Argentina, and what look like hooves are actually claws used for digging. Their hind legs are longer than their front legs, making them fast and powerful runners. Not only do they look unusual, they act unlike other rodents. They're active during the day and enjoy basking in the sun, much like a cat. They form monogamous pairs and tend to shun Patagonian Mars from outside of their relationship. So just like that annoying clingy couple we all know. They do live near others of their kind during the mating season, when they burrow near one another. Each female has a unique cry that her offspring uses to identify her, and she identifies them by their scent. The males keep watch over the burrow to protect its inhabitants from predators. Irrawaddy Dolphin no, this isn't a bottlenose dolphin that swam headfirst into a massive coral. It's an Irrawaddy dolphin, and they're exceptionally rare for reasons unrelated to swimming into unmovable objects. They're found in coastal areas of South and Southeast Asia, and swim in both salt and fresh water. It's easy to identify them by their bulging foreheads and short beaks. They even appear to smile as their mouths are angled upwards. Unlike other types of dolphins, the Irrawaddy dolphins are shy around humans in boats and tend to avoid them. They seem to enjoy spitting water from their mouths into the water, which scientists believe helps them hunt by confusing schools of fish. Or maybe they're just trying to avoid humans coming over for a chat by acting unpleasant. Sunda Flying Lemur Also known as the Malayan Flying Lemur or the Malayan Kaluga, the Sunda Flying Lemur doesn't fly, nor is it a lemur. So out of three names, only one is even accurate. They're just over a foot long and make their home in Thailand, Indonesia, Malaysia, and Singapore. While the Sunda flying lemur may not fly, it is exceptionally adept at gliding. It can glide over 300 feet while only losing 10 feet in elevation. They use a flap of leathery skin that stretches from the tips of its fingers to the end of its tail in order to glide from tree to tree. Although they are adept at climbing and gliding, they are helpless if they end up on the ground. They eat primarily leaves, but will occasionally snack on fruit, sap, and flowers. Which of these exotic creatures would you most want to have for a pet? Ignoring the legal and practical issues associated with keeping such a pet, of course. Thanks for watching our video and letting us share some of our favorite animals with you. The Hub is always on the lookout for the most amazing animals, and we look forward to telling you about more of them in the future. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.